Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about welding leads. Got my numero uno amigo Jose with me today. Hey everybody, good day, good day. It is a beautiful day here. Today we're going to be talking about quick connects, why I don't use a whip, why I don't use my roll ups, my lead roll ups on my truck, uh, how to connect your it's welding lead to the lug that goes on your welding machine or to uh, even your stinger. Uh, that's the weak link. Uh, why I don't use quick connects? Where can we use those? How long does your leads need to be? How big? All that stuff we're going to cover in this video. So please hit the like button. It helps me. Subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. There's a good chance I'm going to be uh, start talking about jobs more often as they come to me. And I want you guys to, you know, early bird gets the worm get that notification button hit you'll get a notification and you can check it out all right first what are we going to cover first we'll cover this at the end of the video but first let's talk about what happens this used to look like that nice and shiny look at that that's nice and shiny now it looks burnt and gnarly Well, this looked a whole lot worse before I started chopping it back. This starts happening, and it will, as you guys start welding. If you haven't already noticed, we used to have the ground. It would get so hot, you know, you couldn't touch it. It would boil water off of it. Very, very hot. Immediately stop and try to figure out what it is, because it's just going to get worse. It's just going to keep getting your leads hot, and you're, instead of cutting this much off, you're going to have to cut more off, because you can cut it back to the good. Try to find the weak link. And if you're using, this is an old whip I used to use when I was working shutdowns, traveling the road. Keep this in your bucket. You know, you bucket welders. I was a bucket welder. Uh, I don't have that many bucket rings on my butt. That's how you know how long welders have been welding on a bucket. You count the bucket rings. Anyway, cheesy joke, I know. You're going to lose a, con uh, it's not going to be solid using these, using these quick connects. It's just not the best. I get it. If you're working in a plant, you got to. But doing what we do in the field, we don't ever use them. Unless you need to. Unless you got to, for some reason, join, you know, 200 foot of lead together. I get it. But we very seldom had to do that, if ever, really. Um, now we're going to move on to the roll-ups. Why do my roll-ups look like that? Why, why am I not rolling them up on there? Well, I was told this by an older welder but when I started. He said, hey, better not use those. Your leads are going to get hot. And they did. They got very hot, all rolled up in a, you know, tight, all nice like I used to keep them. So if you're going to use them, roll it out all, all on the ground before you start rolling out and doing a bunch of welding. Because when we're welding, we're, you know, 532, 70, 18s all day. It's a lot of heat and things get hot. But I turn, I just don't use them anymore. I drape them. If you want your leads to last a long time, uh, try to drape them, get them to where, you know, air can get through them, they stay cool. And make sure you've got a really good connection. Now on length, take a screenshot and you can adjust your welding lead to your machine. Every machine's different, different amps, different duty cycles, all that stuff. And heavy. Yeah, pick it up where they can see it. It is heavy. That's why I don't use number two. <laughs> or two all that spool of lead is 250 foot when you buy it you could just buy a roll of it 250 foot well are you going to cut it in two and have 125 foot of each or are you going to use little sections what what's the best way what did i do all right so on a 300 lincoln i want to say once you get 150 foot 200 foot you're good with one off that's what this is one off Past that, and really 200 foot, that's a lot of lead. That's a big circuit, and things start to get hot. So what I ended up doing uh, in the past, and it worked really good, is buy the 250 foot roll, and I would cut 100 foot, and I would leave 50 foot left over. Well, that doesn't make any sense, right? Well, wait a minute. What you can do is you have your 100 foot leads uh, hanging up 
you know, where they're, they're just ready to go. And you also have your tw uh, 225s or maybe your ground doesn't need to be as long. Maybe you want 30 and 20, you know, 20 on your ground, 30 on your whip, on your stinger. Um, but that way, when I set my rollout wheel up, and because we do a lot of work right here at the back of the truck, I mean, just to put it into perspective, 25 foot gets you about right here. And you've got all this area to do all your fab work, anything you need, and your leads are super short, you know? And if you need to go a little further, you just grab your other ones. Most of our work is done just right behind the truck fabbing. So that's one way to approach it. And if you do it that way, I think your leads will last a long time because I burn up some leads, man. I burn up uh, using long leads rolled up with a bunch of connections. Uh, been there, done that. I've melted the insulator out of the back of this rollout wheel. There's an insulator right here, this, these roll-ups. And I melted that out, burning uh, jet rods on a bridge. We were slow at work and they wanted to build a bridge on a lease road. And it just, quarter inch jet rod is hard on leads and a machine really. But the Vantage did really good. My leads didn't know. So uh, I hope I've helped you with what size lead. One aught is what I use, two aught would be better. But if you cut your one-aught down where it's, a, you know, you're under 200 foot and you can put the shorter leads to, on the same machine where you're doing the main work behind your truck, you know, where all the, everything happens, uh, that's going to add life to your set, you know, your spool of lead. What else? Whips. Why don't use a whip? Okay. Your whip is another link in the chain. And really guys, you'll notice when I'm using, uh, when, when you see me welding, I don't ever have, here I'll use this one. I don't ever have lead way out here dangling. You'll see me, I always, I'll drag it in with my foot to where it's a, a little slack. And it's really not that heavy for me. It's just, you know, it's a solid connection from the machine to your stinger, you know, done. I'm just used to it, I don't need the little whip. But if you're way out here and you've got slack or somebody touches it, it's gonna move you. So try to keep it in here where nothing can really happen. Um, but that's the reason I don't use a whip is just because it's just another something to get hot. Now, how to make the best connection? The tip, give us the tip. All right, because here's the best way that I've found to connect your welding lead to your lugs. You can use solder. You can use fishing weights. I've used wheel weights. It doesn't really matter. Today we're going to use a fishing weight just because. Put that baby in there. That ought to be plenty, maybe a little more. Just good and hot where it's liquefied in there. There we go. Now, before you burn your lead up, pour a little water on it. That baby is on there. And if you want to get it back off, you can just heat it up and use it again. Have an awesome, awesome day. Later.